Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Curse of the Three Terrors figures from Super 7. That's right, these are brand new, vintage style Masters of the Universe action figures from Super 7. Now, these were actually released uh, shortly after, or at least announced last year at San Diego Comic Con, and the figures are based on a short new animation that Super 7 produced uh, based on the original Filmation cartoon series. So what they did is they produced a line of four figures that are based on characters seen within that cartoon series. And since Super 7 now has the Masters of the Universe license, that means these are officially licensed 5.5 inch scale action figures. That's pretty cool stuff. I've uh, been a big fan and collector of the 5.5 inch figures. Uh, of course, Masters of the Universe is one of my all time favorite toy lines, but I love all 5.5 figures. I collect a lot of the old Remco's and other bootleggy and knockoff kind of figure lines. And there's a really great kind of indie scene out there now that uh, designs new figures in that style. And I love it. So honestly, I was pretty excited to see that Super 7 was going to kind of dip into this territory. But of course, these are officially licensed. So it's like the very first 5.5 inch Masters of the Universe action figures since the 80s that are officially licensed and come on these card backs, look at this. These are standard classic style card backs with the red rocks, the blue sky, classic Masters of the Universe logo. That's pretty cool seeing these figures carded like that. And the card backs are really nice here. So before we get into that, you can see we got four figures in this set. We got Possessed Skeletor, which is like a Skeletor with these mummy wraps on. And then we have the Terror Wolf, the Terror Jaguar, and the Terror Bat. And like I said, great vintage style packaging. I love it. It feels nice. It's quality made there. And looking at the back of the box, we even have a cross cell that looks a lot like the old one. Look at that. Twist the waist and make him swing his Havoc staff. So he's got the old power punch kind of action feature. And I love how they mixed in some artwork of their new figures along with artwork of the original figures from the original line. Looks just like that classic artwork from the back of the packages, which is cool. And they even have some artwork up here at the top that is very reminiscent of the artwork we saw on the original card backs by artist Errol McCarthy. I think that's pretty cool. This definitely pays great homage to that vintage line, but gives us some brand new figures of some new characters. So let's go ahead and open these up. Even though the vintage packages are very cool, I'm going to open these up so we can take a look at the new figures within. All right, here we go with our new Curse of the Three Terrors figures outside of the packaging. So I got to say right off the bat, the quality of these feels really good. I mean, the plastic that's used is super solid. They feel great. They actually feel very vintage, um, but they feel solid. They feel really, really good. Uh, it's worth noting that Skeletor has a very, very solid head sculpt. You can see it's not squishy. It's like the hard heads in the old line. Uh, whereas all the three Terrors have these very hollow, very soft, squishy heads. They're all just like that. But the bodies themselves um, are all very reminiscent of the vintage line. Obviously, there's a lot of different sculpting going on here, especially with Skeletor. It's got the basic style of that vintage Skeletor figure, but, you know, all these wraps are sculpted on there. But the paint is super clean on these, um, really nice. The articulation is tight. I mean, you can see how tight the arms move up and down there. Of course, you got that spring-loaded feature. Bow, just like that. Look how good that works. Ow, that hurt my knuckle. <laughs> That's a really good spring-loaded feature. Um, and then the legs, you can see they are on the little rubber bands, just like the vintage figures. Now, the rubber bands do feel a little thin in there, um, so I'm a little worried about how well that's going to hold up over time. Um, I guess time will tell. Right now, it's nice and tight, you can see, and they stand really great. The legs are not flimsy or loose at all. Um, but just like with the vintage line, I do have a feeling that over time, those might wear out and get a little loose. Um, but I don't know. Right now, they're nice and solid, and you can see the figures all stand beautifully i mean they're flat footed they look great got a nice solid stance on there so skeletor here um was possessed in that cartoon and basically became a different character uh and these were like his little minions and that's basically what's going on here but it's just skeletor with like a cool mummy wrap going on i actually like it quite a bit he does come with the havoc staff which looks just like that vintage havoc staff mold um it's a bit of a flimsy plastic and you'll notice that with all the weapons it's not as bad with the havoc staff but it gets pretty bad with the other weapons. I wish they were a little bit more stiff. Um, but you can see he does hold on to it really nice. Gets a good grip on it. Got a cool Skeletor there. A new Skeletor variant with his Havoc staff. 
So let's go ahead and bring in the three terrorist figures. Now, uh, I think the same can be said for all three of them. The heads are a bit big and a bit goofy. I mean, they do uh, kind of look a little strange and look a little out of place compared to most of the Vintage Masters of the Universe figures. However, they totally feel right at home with a lot of the Remcos or the other knockoff lines. And I, I don't know, I kind of love that about these. I think they are super fun. Uh, my favorite one specifically is Terra Bat. I think all around, he's my favorite figure. Here. I think his head sculpt is a bit smaller. It's a cool sculpt. Uh, and just with the greens and everything, he looks really, really cool. Now, the bodies that are used look a lot like the monster bodies from the Vintage line, but there's definitely um, some modifications it looks like there. Like, for instance, look at all the extra lines sculpted on the feet, almost like they're kind of hairy or fuzzy feet, maybe? I don't know. Um, so there are some differences, but very, very similar. The bodies themselves look like they came straight out of the Vintage line, and even the armor that they're wearing is put on exactly like that Vintage armor there. Uh, so the weapons, like I said, they're a bit flimsy. You can see how flimsy uh, Terror Bat's axe is. Uh, looks like our Terror Jaguar here has got this like spiked Macy Club. Uh, it's a bit stronger. It doesn't feel quite as gummy as the axe there. Uh, but then we get to Terror Wolf's sword. And it's a pretty soft sword. Look at it. You can see how gummy it is. It's really flexible. And unfortunately, he doesn't really hold it very good. I guess because of the shape of it. it. See, As you can see, it has a tendency to just pop right out of his hand. Um, so you got to kind of have to find the right way to get it in there so it stays in place. But all the figures do have that same spring-loaded mechanism. All the articulation is still nice and tight. Uh, rubber bands in the legs. But again, it's tight right now, and they can all stand really good. And they just are really fun-looking characters. They're very goofy and very weird, but I think it was done on purpose, you know? Like, it's a good weird. I guess that's the best way to explain it. I think they're a lot of fun. But of course, like I said in the beginning, I'm somebody that enjoys things like the Remco figures and the other various knockoffs. And so it's kind of cool getting some really nicely done figures like this from Super 7. All right, guys, it's comparison time. So here's my vintage Skeletor action figure standing alongside this new Skelly. Just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like side by side, you can see very similar in overall design. Uh, and the new one there looks pretty good standing next to it. I mean, he looks like he fits right in. And bring He-Man in here. You can have He-Man battling the three terrors. Gives you a good look at what these figures look like standing alongside He-Man. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Curse of the Three Terrors, a new set of vintage-style Masters of the Universe figures from Super 7. I think they're a lot of fun. I think uh, Skeletor will probably be the fan favorite here because it's just kind of like a cool mummy variant of Skeletor. Uh, but the other guys are a lot of fun too. And I really think that those of us out there who already collect the 5.5 figures, who like just that genre in general, I think those are the fans that are going to enjoy these the most, honestly. But if you want something cool that's a throwback to the vintage line, you want some new carded vintage figures, these are really cool. Definitely worth checking out. And I'm pretty excited excited to see what Super 7 does with their vintage line. Uh, you know, we just saw at Toy Fair that they're planning to do some new figures like a He-Man style uh, She-Ra figure, as if she was releasing the He-Man line. We're getting, you know, a new Filmation Colors Hordak. They're even planning to re-release, or finally release that is, the vintage style Hero and Eldor. And I think that's going to be great, and I welcome those additions to my vintage shelf. So very special thanks to the folks at Super 7 for sending these along so I can open them up for this video. These are in stock right now at Super7Store.com. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these figures. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on any of my reviews. Until next time, my friends.